a makeup look so if you want to see how I got to this from then stay tuned and I will tell you it's all about the base today honey and because I didn't mention in the video I remember when I filmed it um I'll let you know the lipsticks that I'm wearing the first one is by I want to say this is LA Splash I got this from Beauty Bay a while ago it's in the shade Spellbound and this is NYX Lingerie and it's in the shade Teddy it's a liquid lipstick as well these are amazing and yeah that's what's on my lips today so anyways if you want to stay tuned get into the video keep watching so first of all eyebrows are already done um eyeshadow is already done i kept it very very neutral because this isn't about the eye look today this is literally about the base like it's all about the base <laughs> is I'm going to use this in transit camera close-up by this works be ready for that close-up in seconds with a mask moisturizer and primer in one and I can actually see my complexion my texture of my skin improve when I put this on before I put my makeup if I'm looking down it's because I've got a mirror as well so what I do sometimes as well is I add another primer but I put that only on my t-zone so this one's more of a moisturizer but it does do priming and all that kind of stuff so I use this Kiko one so whatever I feel like I get lines or creasing the most or sweats the most I put it there um so my nose where my life laugh, laugh lines are and also I put it my under eye I dab that in. I feel like if you dab in your under eye, it helps prevent lines. And I got a big old forehead, so I gotta really get into that. Yeah, so that's why I apply this primer, and this one is more of like a silicone texture. The other one is more creamy, like actually moisturizing. Right, so now that I've done all the priming, I'm gonna use my color corrector, and I'm gonna use the orange, because um, I just think that cancels out most of the dark marks. I'm just going to look down as I do it. Um, so I tend to put that wherever there's discoloration or what's it called? Hyperpigmentation. Basically wherever there's black marks. Usually here it's quite dark so I'll um, and there wherever my um bags are i guess i've had this for so long this thing actually lasts once that's done one very very good trick that i learned as well is to actually set your color corrector so i'm going to use this rcma no color powder i'm just going to pour it in there this is so handy because you can actually just like pour it and then it goes in there and then i literally just put it on the areas where i color corrected just to make it set and I just tap that in and also what I tend to do is I'll take whatever um fixing spray I have or anything like that and then I'll spray that over my face but right now your girl is running short so I'm gonna skip that step it's not too dip it doesn't matter too much the next stage is I use a little bit of pro conceal now I use this in a color that's quite close to my skin tone for this stage this is the one that I use not for brightening but to conceal before I put a little bit of foundation there um this bit of my mouth where there's usually creasing so that's where i focus the concealer on i look so crazy right now and then i just get my dab beauty blender again and just tap it in foundation time so I mix these two because you can see this one has a more yellowish tone this one has a bit more 
of an orangey tone so when i mix this and this looks way more orange on camera than it is in real life by the way it's like that you can see the color difference there i'll use a brush to actually apply and then i'll only use the sponge once i want to really press something into my skin this one is by bh cosmetics um number 135 and then i'll get like um some sort of fixing spray i'll just wet it in general and then i put it in the areas where my cheek are first so first I just dab it in and then after doing that, that's when I start. So now that I've used that, I'm going to contour. too close to that crease because I want to be able to blend it out like that rather than having to like I don't know that's just whatever it makes sense it makes sense so I do that bring it up like that bring it up like that just a little blob you know the drill I like to try to find um define this little I don't know what this area is called this bit's called the cupid bow, but I don't know what the area behind it's called. I don't know if it has a word, but yeah. Um, and then a little bit on my chin area. A little bit on my forehead area. This is BH Cosmetics in 138, and it's angled, but it's also wide, and it's just, this is perfect for concealer. So once again, I spray that, and then I drag it up and across. too wide out there this brush is honest if there's one thing that has just upped my makeup level is this brush i'm telling you investing in good brushes don't don't play yourself you know i mean the beauty blender and the sponges and all that's very cute but the right brush for certain application it it allows you to control what you're doing way more than with a sponge the sponge helps like when you want to really set it into your face and stuff but initially for application, I mean, I don't think a sponge could ever. Same with the tip of the chin, chinny chin. There's no such thing as too much blending, you know. There's actually no such thing. So when it comes to the concealer, I think it's so important. Especially when you want it to be flash proof and not look crazy in flash. What you don't see in your naked eye, the flash sees it all. The flash sees it Oh, so you might not think you look crazy, but ooh, that flush will humble you in a second. Same with here. This is drying up, so I need to. I need to increase my speed. contour brush this is a much much sharper angle brush this is bh cosmetics again 136 most of these are going to be from bh cosmetics and i got these brushes from tk max for ch 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 cheap i've said this before in one of my first makeup tutorials i'm telling you if you want to get nice beauty stuff for very cheap 
for knockoff prices, go to TK Maxx. don't want that gash effect so you need to take the time i probably brought this out a little bit too much today but usually i probably leave it like there and then blend it out but it's what it is i just means i have to blend it for way longer Girl knows how to beat this face though. 